hello guys welcome to a new tutorial video in this video i'm going to show you how to make a delay in unity here i have a simple scene with the text and a button if i click the button the text will say start after one second it will change to finish i can adjust the value let's make it like three seconds let's click start wait for three seconds and it will start change to finished so let's go to the script and i will show you how to make it so here I have an empty script with nothing on it, only a reference for my text. So let's start with making the function. First let's type public async void and name it whatever you want. I will name it wait and make a float for the duration. So before we go ahead we have to go here and add the task namespace so type using system dot threading sorry threading dot tasks here let's type await task dot delay and we type the duration so here the duration is float but the function will ask for uh, an int to make it let's just make the float to an int and this is for uh, with milliseconds let's change it to seconds only by multiplying this with 1000 and make sure to convert everything to int by making it uh, inside the brackets so so basically this function will just say let's wait for this duration before we execute the next of the code in my case i'm just gonna change the text let's type my text to my text dot text and let's change it to start let's just copy it and after the delay finished let's change it to finish now let's test it in unity so here let's make it two seconds to test click play click the start we we'll change the start after two seconds it will be finished so this is one way to make it i think it's the best way to make it just make sure if you have a function that you are gonna make a delay on it always type async before the void you have to do it if i delete the async from here it will give me error so your function should be always async so this is the best way to do it i think there is other way uh, with coroutines but i don't know this is more efficient this is more simple it's easy to use less lines of codes so yeah thank you guys for watching if you find this video helpful just subscribe and like and leave a comment and see you in the next video